Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TED2, Technology Entertainment Design, the second conference. It's the serendipity of all of us uh, getting together. It's the party you always wanted to have but couldn't. It's a fantastically pr provocative uh, event, particularly the philosophic questions it's asked. Um, I feel as, I feel very privileged as though I'm uh, somebody made an electronic playground just for me to come and play. <laughs> That's true. I came here as cave dwellers. You're the Flintstones at the Jetsons reunion. <laughs> just discovered things like icons and windows. How many of you out there have ever taken a hard disk icon like this, can you see this, yeah. and thrown it in the trash? <laughs> How many of you have ever, have ever done that? Raise your hand. I think the greatest thing I've seen here is virtual reality, and I don't care what it costs, I want one now. So bend your thumb and you fly out to the cloud. Oh, oh my god. I'm sure it's the Virility Reality Lab. And I've learned about uh, virtual reality. I keep trying to try it in here, and I can't so far. It's just too popular. Just there's something. There's a banana, there's guys. There's, there's a There you got it. Mm. There was an interesting theme that went through so many of the presentations from uh, Disney to the lady who talked about museum exhibits, and that is the, the importance of tying technology to, to story. I really have enjoyed being here seeing the kind of synergy between design and, and the designers and the artists and the scientists and I think that that is really going to become more and more important to our society. I've been introduced to um, some amazing people in uh, equally amazing technology that I think our students are, are hungry and clamoring for and hopefully the group of us who are here will be able to bring that back and integrate it through fine arts to computer sciences to film and transportation design. I think we're, we're on the verge of some really wonderful things. One of the themes of the conference was how to use our skills and technology and design in, in making us a better planet. You know? The E in TED that's been so much debated doesn't stand for education or entertainment, it stands for environment. That's environment, the yes. Running technology, the environment, and design. There you go. <laughs> It's just interesting for me, although that was never stated as a topic of a conference, and I, I didn't see the word environment in any of the conference materials, it really seems to be a per pervasive concern of the people here is, as practitioners in technology, entertainment, and design, how is the work that we're doing in addressing environmental concerns? I'm amazed at the humanity of the techies. I always thought techies were strictly statisticians with uh, more speed than most people. The planet where I live, appear, they appear to be engaged in a global experiment to see how much pollution is compatible with mammalian life. <laughs> An experiment which will end when we exceed the threshold. I'm a stand-up comedian, and <laughs> I'm tired of telling jokes to drunks and uh, looking for people with a little bit more coherency in their lives. I can't come out of TED uh, confused. I think uh, technology is either good or bad, but I think it's, it's good. Um, technology doesn't kill people. People kill parrots or something like that. I'm used to computer industry conferences, which get a little dull because you see the same people all the time. Some of the same people are here, but there are a lot of interesting people who, uh, who wear black all the time. 
Hackers with backers. And I look forward to more and more input and more and more feeling and more and more women involved in this meeting. Technology for technology's sake is not the point, or entertainment for entertainment's sake, but rather how to use them cleverly together. What this uh, conference has done is put personalities behind the names, and, and they're human beings, and it's, it's happening now. Fast is superior in every way to the very one. <laughs> The best weapon we have to explore this new world is the one between our ears, providing its load. What is the collective noun for people? Right. What do you think? And this conference was good for me. Was it good for you? It was uh, dense and intense, and I was close to overdose, but I'm not having a wonderful time. <laughs> This conference has been great for me because it's united all my passions in music parks, motion pictures, special effects, puppetry, magic, and computer graphics, and sort of this is, I'm in heaven, this is what I want to do. I love this.